Good morning everyone! Again, this is Maria Jocelyn from the Ambassador of God. Today is the fifth day of our prayer and fasting. I'm so happy again to meet you everyone here. And this is my commitment. I'm committed this um, for the prayer and fasting is I start on uh, March 28th. Uh, I will end this until April 30. Because this month is my birth month and this is also a, a special moment for me. A special moment for me to, to the Lord Jesus as He gave me a wonderful life. So I commit this month that I'll do prayer and fasting. So I'll do only my prayer and fasting in the morning from, from night until the morning. So I break my fasting is 1 p.m. from that from that time, I don't eat anything. I don't drink any water until I finish my job. That's my commitment to the Lord. But anyway, I'm so happy to meet you here, everyone. And before anything else, we will continue praying for the uh, for the healing again. Um, this healing is we will pray for one week, this one. And then the next is the another series of prayer and fasting that we will prayer focus. Today, our prayer focus is still in the healing. Healing all the sickness and disease in, around the world. And today, we will focus naman, we will focus all the mother, father, and children. Those are experiencing in any shape or form, in any kind of sickness and disease. And especially for those who are affected in this kind of coronavirus and COVID-19. So, that's our focus for today is still in the in the healing. We will focus prayer for all the mother, father, children, and the mother also delivering their baby, and also the mother are recovering their, their, their from giving birth. Okay, that's our focus for today. And before anything else, um, yesterday I posted um, the video here, but I would like to apologize my brothers here in the Korean. There is one of the, of one of the, somebody here commented bullying. They're bullying me and bullying to the one of the one of my subscriber i would like to apologize with you sister kim jiso she is a korean and i would like also ap apologize to my the other one that you know that she he is also bullying the lady the the one who's bully the one who bullied there is the the lady and uh, she's commenting one of my video here it's not good um, I don't really like, I don't like that because it's not good. And then she violate the guidelines and the rules of the YouTube. So I know I'm not concerned about that, but I pray that the Lord already taking care of him. So I would like to apologize public here in my channel. Um, Park Jensong, thank you so much for your, for your patronizing here in my channel. And he's also a Christian. Park Jeng Song, thank you so much for being with me in the spirit. And thank you so much. And I keep on praying for you. And my, my sister also, Kim Jeso. And the lady is bullying them because the lady he he she doesn't like she doesn't like the Korean, you know. But some of you I know if if you read the comment there, it's not there anymore. But you know there is a there is a solution with that. If somebody are bullying with that, we have nothing to do. We are we are not doing anything. So you know there's already a guideline here in the YouTube that you cannot comment. You know you will comment only what's content in the video. You will not comment against the person and per um against you know um personally you know. But you know. But anyway, my dear brothers and sister friend, so I would like to apologize, Sister Kim and Brother Park. Thank you so much for you and God bless you. And I know the Lord with, with us. And as, as I said, I want everybody happy here. What I'm doing here, I'm doing this for the Lord. This is not for me because my job is, I am the ambassador of God. My job is to is to to send the good news of the lord and then i am a 
I am a Christian. I am a born again Christian. I am not against any kind of religion. I'm not I'm not against any kind of things. I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm not forcing anybody here to to believe what I believe, you know. I'm just sharing only here. If if somebody are doesn't like what I'm doing, I don't want to stop because this is from the Lord. I must follow the Lord than the human being. This is my calling and this is my mission. Okay, my dear brothers and sisters, I'm not against you or anybody else, any kind of religious, anything. Because here in YouTube, we want to be happy. There are also many, many, you know, the same that they are doing what I'm doing. I'm doing this for the Lord. I'm not doing this for to impress somebody. This is not. Because if I'm not doing this, I get, I don't good. I don't feel good. Because the Lord call me to do this the lord want me to do this for him and in fact i will read the there's the you know that that we can get a testimony about our what the lord did to us in our life that's what the lord want me to do whatever the lord did in my life he want me to make a living testimony because this is what for it, this channel, okay? I'm not against anybody. I'm not against any religion, any kind of religion. I'm not targeting. I'm not bullying anybody. It's not my, I know here. If anybody want to accept what I'm saying, it's, it's good. You know, we are in the same page. If it is not, there are many message here. There are so many content here in my channel. That's not, if you doesn't like, you know. If you doesn't like, leave it, you know, because it's not really good, you know. Uh, for me, and um, um, I don't really, I have peace in my mind that when I read that message, but, you know, it's, it's a personal already, you know. If we have something to deal personal to that person, we must face, you know, we must face to them. But anyway, I'm not against any kind of religion of anything. I'm not compromising anything. I'm doing this for the Lord. I'm not afraid and I'm not ashamed to pray everywhere. I'm not ashamed that I say I am a born again believer. I am the follower of Jesus Christ till the end of my life. Okay, I'm not against anything here, my dear brothers and sisters. Okay, anyway, I would like to read and let us pray before I start. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this wonderful day and a wonderful moment that you have given to me. Bless all the people who watch this channel, Father God. I know, Lord Father God, that, you're, that you are working. Your hands is not too short to touch all the people, give them peace in their mind, especially all my subscriber, Father God, that I am here to to work with you lord father god i'm following you lord father god and thank you for giving me an obedient heart father god i'm not against anything lord but i want to follow whatever you want me to say father god lord i will follow only with you lord i will trust you with all my heart and not lean with my own understanding but all the way i will acknowledge with you lord but lord father god please protect me in any shape or form father god if the enemy are trying to against me to um trying to harass me harass me trying to bully me in any shape or form i know lord father god that i am not concerned about that because if i'm with you lord no man's will against me father god that you will protect me lord father god and protect also for my brothers and sisters that we have the same belief father god we are not arguing anybody of anything because lord we are only following with you whatever you want us to do Father God, thank you, Lord. My focus prayer for today, you know already the desire of my heart. Lord Jesus, I thank you, Lord. Cover me in your blood, Father God. Give me wisdom, understanding, discerning, and knowledge, Father God. Because I trust you with all my heart and not lean with my own understanding. But all the way I will acknowledge with you that you will direct my path. That you will give me wisdom, discerning, knowledge, and understanding. Whatever I see and whatever I do. Father God, thank you so much, Lord. Let, let the people open your ears. They want to hear. Let the people open their heart if they want to feel your love. Let the people open their eyes if they want to see the light. So they can see you, Lord. That you can see what is your creation and your wonders. Father God, that you're creating in this world. That you created this world wonderfully. As well as ourselves. As well as myself. 
You created me. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. In Jesus' name, amen. So, my dear brothers and sisters, that's my intro of my prayer. So, hindi pa tayo nagpipray sa atin focus prayer. We are not praying yet for our focus prayer for today. So, I will read the Proverbs chapter 2 verse Verse 20 to 29. It's kind of a little bit long, but you know, in, in the Bible says, For those who ever listen to the Lord and the messenger of the Lord is not a waste of time. You gain something because the Lord bless you and the Lord give you knowledge and understanding. And not only that, an spiritual standpoint, if you really listen the word of God, it's not a waste if you are here in my channel that you are watching my video because you will learn something here not only for for our you know for our own good but in our spiritual that we need to feed our spiritual also the word of god hearing the word of god is very much important for our soul that's the food for our soul as well as when we feed for our physical body we nourish our body we nurture our body we exercise we do the proper diet in our body so enable that we need to be healthy so the same also in our spiritual because we are not only feeding our physical being but we need also to feed our spiritual being because our spiritual being our soul it will last forever. It will last for lifetime. There is an eternity for the place of our soul. And our our physical being, it's only temporary in this earth. Okay? Thank you so much for having me here in my channel. Anyway, I will read the Proverbs chapter 2 verse, verse 20 to 29. It's kind of a little bit long because the title of this is the warning against rejecting wisdom. Um, warning against rejecting wisdom. Um, Proverbs chapter 2 verse 20. I will read to 20 to 29. Wisdom calls aloud and street. She raises her voice in the public square. Verse 20, 21. At leads in the noisy streets, she cries out. In the gateway of the city, makes her speech. How long will you simple ones love your simple ways? How long will mockers delight the mockery? Okay. Um, in, in, in verse 22, people, you know, um, they are mockering. They, if they are mocking to the God because there's a lady yesterday here are mocking what I'm saying. He, she is not mocking with me. She's mocking to God. So I'm not the one who, who, you know, accountable to me. And she, the Lord is the one who taking care of me. The Lord will taking care of me. She's mocking to the Lord. So I'm not concerned about that. Okay? So that's what the meaning. Actually, in every verses in the Bible, there is a meaning for ourselves. This is for me only. Disclaimer to everyone, okay? I'm not I'm not saying this is the meaning for you also. It depends how the Lord is spoke into our heart, okay? So let's go on. The false hate knowledge. And verse 23, if you have responded, may rebuke it we have pured out of my heart to you you made thoughts to know to you but since you rejected me when i called and me when give when i stretch out of my hands since you ignore me and advice and i will accept my rebuke and i turn with love in your disaster and i will mock when calamity overtakes you, okay? It's not good, my dear brothers and sister friend. When we when the person are when the person is the the messenger of God, like me, I'm just only doing what's the message of God and spreading here to the public that when somebody are uh, telling against what I'm saying, he is not attacking me. He or she attacking to the Lord. That's my understanding for this. You know, okay? So, that's it. But since you rejected me, you called me get head and stretch out of my hands. Since you ignore me and advice, I would not accept 
I would not accept my rebuke, and I will turn your lap in disasters will mock when calamity overtakes you. Okay, I, I repeat again, so it's I emphasize that. When calamity overtakes you, a storm, when disaster sweep over like a whirlwind and overwhelm you. Okay, again, uh, I will continue in verse 28. When they will call you, when they, when they will call me, but I will not answer. And I will talk, and I will look for me, but I will not find me. Okay. So the time when you're already when you're already calling to the Lord and then the Lord will the Lord will not answer you anymore because you are mocking you are mocking the Lord you know when the time so when the time calamity when you experience the calamity whoever is that the Lord is not listening with you anymore because the time that he the Lord sent the messenger you are mocking to the Lord you are not mocking to that person that who reading the bible that that delivering the message of the lord you are mocking to god okay since you since you hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the lord since you would not accept my advice and spurred to rebuke and they will eat the fruit in their way and they filled with fruit in their own scheme okay so my dear brothers and sisters that's the proverbs chapter 2 verse 20 to 29 so that's my reading for today so we will continue praying for for all the needy that's what i'm telling in the beginning of my video so we will pray now thank you for everything dear heavenly father i thank you for this wonderful day lord comfort us father god you know already the desire in my heart i pray for today my prayer focus is, is still the same the healing father god but we will focus for all the mother who taking care of their children the caregiver or uh, whoever is that including their auntie their grandma and the relatives and the members of the family i'm praying this in general around the world and I pray also for the father that's who are working in the house, even though, you know, in the it's not in the office like my husband is working in the house. We're so thankful for that. And there's also so many like that here in around the world because of the situation now. And then uh, I include also praying Lord for the the mother who are delivering their children or who are also giving their birth and who are delivering that's my focus prayer for today today is april 2nd and i thank you for this wonderful moment lord and i will pray now for them father god around the world and lord i pray also for my family for my immediate family lord father god i thank you for this wonderful opportunity that you have given to me father god thank you lord for anointed you your spirit father god that you cover me in your blood and anoint me with your oil father god so the enemy cannot see me cannot even touch me cannot even think about me if there's anything trying to hinder trying to mock and let their Lord, you are, kayo na po ang bahala sa kanila, Lord. At patawarin mo sila sa kanila mga ginagawa. Lord, Father God, I pray for all the mother, Father God, that who are taking care of their children, that you will give them wisdom, understanding, knowledge, and discerning. Lord, if they are experiencing any kind of problem in their physical body, Father God, bring forth healing into their body, Father God. Bring forth healing into their emotion. Bring forth healing into their soul, Father God, and their spiritual relationship to you if they are if they are believer of the lord jesus christ that they will go well with you lord father god i thank you lord father god also for all the fathers that they are providing and every member of their family around the world father god your hands is not too short father god whoever their needs father god whoever needy father and mother father god you know them father god your hands is not too short to touch them father god your eyes is not too far to see them lord in jesus name father god i pray for all the mothers fathers around the world father god in jesus name that you will bring forth healing to their body and i pray also lord father god for the children father god and every member of the family lord father god that they are experiencing the the struggle to their physical body that you will bring forth healing lord in the name of jesus that you will heal their sickness and disease in the name of jesus father god i'm praying this for the whole world father god whoever the household 
Father God are experiencing in the whole family, especially in the affected of this kind of COVID-19, the coronavirus, Father God, that it will go away for every member of the family, Father God, are affected in the name of Jesus, Father God, that you are the great healer and that you are the great doctor in the name of Jesus, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing this prayer, Father God. Open the windows of heaven and the doors of heaven. The Lord, the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings, there is the wonderful God in heaven that you will give us success in Jesus' name. Lord God, Father, I thank you also, Lord, for all the caregiver in every, in every, in every country, Lord, Father God. I pray for them in general also, Lord, Father God. I bring forth healing into their body in Jesus' name, Lord. You put this into my heart, Father God. Thank you, Jesus, for touching them, whoever is that, Father God. Lord, I pray also for my brothers and sisters around the world, Father God, that you also heal them in Jesus' name, that their physical body, Lord, that you will heal them before you pour, you bring healing, Lord, in Jesus' name. You bring healing to their soul and to their spiritual walk and relationship with you, to you, Lord, Father God. And I thank you also, Lord, for my brothers and sisters in Korea, Lord, Father God. I pray for this lady, Kim. I pray for this brother, Park, Father God. God, that they have the same faith and you will touch their family and every member of their family. Father God, I thank you, Lord Jesus, Lord. Your hands is not too short to touch them. Your eyes is not too far to see them wherever they are needed, Lord, Father God. I pray for all the mothers are delivering now in the cesarean section, Father God. I don't know them, Lord, Father God. You know them, Lord. You know their needs, Father God. Fulfill them, Lord. Katagpuin mo po sila, Lord, kung ano man ang kanilang pangangailangan. Whatever their needs in their life, in Jesus' name, Father God. I pray also, Lord, for all the mothers are recovering from delivery, Father God. Lord, bring forth fast healing into their wound, especially their physical body, emotional, Father God. I'm praying for this, Father God, for all the mothers around the world, in Jesus' name. I'm praying also, Lord, for all the fathers around the world, Father God. They are the head of the family. Father God, bring her cl closer to you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for everything around the world. I pray for healing also, Lord, Father God, for the Sacramento region, for all the people, Father God, are, are infected of this coronavirus in the name of Jesus, Father God. We bring forth healing, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Bring forth healing to them, Lord, in Jesus' name, Father God. You are the Lord of Lord. You are the King of King in the name of Jesus. I will not ashamed to pray for this in the public around the world father god bring this message father god and every people that to heard this message there's somebody praying lord father god me lord father god i am only one but makes difference in the whole world father god thank you lord father god i'm not ashamed anybody i'm not ashamed anybody to pray to my lord of lord to the king of kings in the name of jesus father god i thank you for this platform father god in jesus name father god Thank you, Lord, Father God, for healing, Lord. Thank you for healing my body. Thank you for healing my family. Thank you for healing everything, Father God, that I'm praying for, Father God. We don't deserve anything, Father God, but through your mercy and your grace, Lord, Father God. Thank you for that mercy. Thank you for the grace and have mercy on us, Lord, Father God. If any trying to against us in any shape or form, Father God, protect me and my family. Shed me in your blood father god in jesus name we will live in the lord jesus christ i confess the lord of lord and the king of kings he is the only one of my god and said in joshua for me and my house we will serve the lord forever and ever until the last of breath in jesus name thank you lord father god thank you for dying in the cross father god that there is no against weapon father god if you are with us no man's will against us 
us, Lord, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Release, Lord, this prayer and fasting in Jesus' name, Father God. Cleanse my physical being, Father God. Lord, Father God, I need to nourish my spiritual being. I need to nourish my spiritual soul. As well as to follow your will, Lord, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Not my way, but your will, Father God. Not my will, but your will, Father God. Not my time, but your time, Lord, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Father God. I know, Lord, you will bring forth healing, Father God, into my, my family, Father God. We thank you, Lord, because we healed emotionally, physically, Lord, Father God. Thank you, Jesus, Father God. This is my desire to honor you. This is my desire to honor you. This is my desire to honor you, Lord. Every breath of my life, every moment I'm away, Lord, have your way in me. Lord, have your way in me. Every breath of my life, every moment when awake. Thank you, Lord, that you will give me, Lord. Today is a wonderful day. I'm so excited. This prayer is a wonderful prayer. I feel in my spirit, indeed, thank you, Jesus, for touching all the people, all the mother, all the father, the mother delivering their child in the delivery room, the mother in the cesarean section, my dear brothers and sisters. I'm so happy to proclaim the the good news of the Lord because the Lord said for those who honor him he will honor also and he will taking care also for his people I thank you Lord Jesus Christ you my brothers and sister if you are not yet the believer of Jesus Christ gusto ko happy ka at gusto ko in the end of your life Magkikita tayo, we are in heaven, that the Lord give us a wonderful place. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, Father God. I'm worshiping to the Lord. Worshiping to the Lord, praying, meditating the word of God is not the waste of time. Now, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, my eyes, my 2020 vision that I can see the wonderful things that you have given to us. Father God, I thank you, Lord, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for answering this prayer in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all things work together for good for those who love you and called according to your purpose. You said, Lord, Father God, in Psalm, delight yourself in the Lord that you will give me the desire in my heart. Lord, the desire in my heart that there is a peace, love, unity, in this earth father god so there is no turmoil there is no greediness there is no any kind of any kind of negative lord i'm happy lord father god when i see all people are smiling i pray for the lord that you give them joy supernatural joy in their life father god thank you so much you are a such a wonderful god my dear brothers and sister I'm not preaching here. I'm teaching only. I'm sharing only what the Lord gave me. I'm sharing only the gift of the Lord that He gives to me. I'm so happy. I'm so happy, my dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for the YouTube. Thank you for the CEO of the YouTube here. Thank you for this platform, Father God. Bless all the people here, Father God. Father God, draw her close to you. Father God, thank you so much, Lord. I want to be a blessing to other people, to the many people around the world. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, Father God, a wonderful, a wonderful God, a wonderful God. My God, I feel, if you feel what I feel now, my dear brothers and sisters, thank you so much because the Lord is a wonderful. Okay, I, I have another verse that I'm going to share. Second Corinthians verse 417 and CEV. Earlier, I read from the NIV, the New International Version of the Bible, because there are so many versions. But anyway, um, I will read the Second Corinthians chapter four, verse seventeen. This little trouble are getting us ready for an eternal glory that will make all your trouble seems like nothing. Yes, I like that. Second Corinthians, verse four. 
I mean, chapter 4, verse 17. Wonderful message of the Lord God Jesus that He's giving to us. This a little bit of troubles are getting us ready for an eternal glory that will make all trouble seems like nothing, okay? Oh, my dear brothers and sisters, if there's somebody are bullying us, there's somebody are doing something not good with us, against with us, it's a little bit of trouble only, but this is the way to eternal glory. There is nothing for us. It says in the Bible, if the Lord is with you, no man's will against us. Because we are only, if we are obeying, we are obedient to the calling. This is my calling. This is my mission. I'm so happy. I'm so happy everything that what the Lord gave to me in my life. Um, it's not. It's not all about material thing. It's not all about the position because those are nothing, you know. If you are with God, you know, he will provide with you. My father in heaven, he is very rich. So I have nothing to be worried. I have nothing to be worried about anything. Okay. But there's sometimes in our life, you know, the enemy is trying to put thoughts in our minds and in our heart. We must guard that, you know, we put the armor the armor put in our belt but my dear brothers and sisters thank you thank you so much this is the series of my prayer and fasting i start the, this in march 28th and then i will end this to april 30 okay um thank you so much for dropping here to my channel please subscribe my channel thank you so much and i know the lord will bless you the lord will guide you the lord will provide whatever you need in jesus name thank you lord for everything thank you jesus goodbye until next time see you for my next vlog thank you so much bye for now